Hello and welcome to Total Access Show with myself, Scott Frame, and joining me this week is Jai Etheridge. Jai, obviously you've had a winter of the sun. Uh, have you enjoyed the break? Yeah, it was good. Uh, lovely to be back in Australia, as it always is. Uh, so, yeah, now now back to the cold and I don't like it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Obviously, you did a wee bit of riding when you were out there uh, and you had Bandits fans a bit worried after a wee smash up of one of those meetings. Yeah, I got I got wiped out uh, pretty bad in Australia, but uh, luckily I come out pretty unscathed, which was which was all right. I no no injuries or or anything. So uh, they just they'd seen pictures of uh, the other guy's bike, and it wasn't too pretty. But yeah, I'm all good and raring to go. Raring to go, mate. But as we look, just we'll briefly look back at the 2023 season. Um, obviously it was a difficult season for the club, for the club. Uh, start of the season didn't start the greatest for your, yourself as well, considering you came into the, the first meeting with an injury, so to speak. Um, but it was difficult for the full club, and that would pretty much sum up the full season, really, wasn't it? There wasn't too many highs in there for a, for the team. Nah, not really. Yeah, it was. It's quite a, a downer of a season, really, for the whole whole club and and fans and everything like that. With a lot that was going on behind the scenes and and everything um, on those past, but uh, not to make excuses, we all need to work that. So uh, hopefully, yeah, this year is definitely going to be one uh, one very different season compared to last. Absolutely, and you're one of only two survivors uh, in the Bandits team next season between yourself and Rory. Do you feel as if you've got added responsibility again into this season? Uh, yeah, yeah, and no. Um, I know, I know most of the guys uh, that are that are coming to the team anyway. Um, and it would be, be good to have Rory, Rory back there again. Um, but now, nah, just it's just another. Another season on the bike and everything. No, no real big responsibilities on me, and I think it would be uh, it'd be good. It's it's kind of like a fresh start and um, for the club and and like a fresh start for me as well. That's a that's a phrase we've heard a lot, especially Rory used that phrase as well. But a fresh start, uh, and it feels like that for the for the full club as well. Do you feel that being the 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 kind of guy who's been there the longest, although Rory was there last season. You've seen a lot of changes in your time with the Bandits as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think uh, it's as good as changing a club for me, really. Um, I was pretty close to, to going in the off-season and, uh, and Stuart uh, obviously kept me on board. But it is, it's definitely, it feels like a new club already. I've been down to the, the track a couple of times and had a look and Everything like that, and the changes down there is unbelievable. So, uh, I think, yeah, all new fresh faces in everywhere. Um, it's going to be uh, like a revamped bandits, really. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. What conversations have you had with Stuart so far? Um, not too much, really, since I've been, been back. Um, so, I, I spoke to him a little bit. Before I went to Australia, um, but yeah, not really, really too much uh, at all. To be fair, is the is the guys been in the group chat yet? Is that all set up? The guys starting to get the the banter going? Yeah, it is. Uh, Rory's kicking all that off. Really, yeah, he, he's getting everyone laughing and everything. So um, there's a bit of debates about. Who's pitting where and all that kind of stuff, and and Stuart said I'll be telling you where you're going. So, uh, no, it's good. We've had a good bit of banner and all that uh, in the group chats and that already. So it'll be uh, it'll be good once we all get together because obviously um, Bastion's quite new to everyone in, in the team, and even he's uh, putting his two bobs in in the in the group chat. So it'd be good to get him with everyone as well. And um, yeah, I think we're going to hit it off straight away. Now, one thing that's changing this season uh, that we've not seen for a good few years now is uh, a challenge match at the start of the season, uh, going to face Workington. Um, how important do you think that is to get some competitive racing ahead of the BSN series? 
Yeah, it, very good for for anyone that's not already got meetings um, prior to the Bandit's actual fixtures. So you can go and practice as much as you want, really, but I think going to the tapes is, is better practice. Um, yeah, it, it is a vital meeting against Workington, but it's it's to get all the cobwebs out. You, you go into the tapes. Um, it, it is important, but it's not. It's, uh, yeah, just getting everything back raring to go and back into racing terms, really. Absolutely. And obviously we face Glasgow and Edinburgh in the BSN series at the start of the season. How important is it to lay a marker down early that the bandits are new and improved and they're here to kind of challenge? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, we, we need to do that straight away. Um, we've got a solid team all the, all the way through, which is which is good. Um, and Stuart, he's, he's uh, hates losing probably just as much as anyone else. He builds teams to win. So hopefully we all go and do that and kick on and go further into the BSN series and the Knockout Cup and, and the league this year. Absolutely. What's your own ambitions for this season, Jay? Um, I, I want to be one of the top heat leaders. Uh, everyone keeps saying to me that you need to be the third heat leader. I already know I am a third heat leader, but I want to be pushing for that five and one spot. I've had a, a lot of changes come middle of last year and that and bike-wise and, and everything like that. So, And it showed towards the end of the season with my scores and everything. Obviously, I'd been struggling a little bit the at the start of the year and the year before that. I was kind of going backwards a bit. But, um, yeah, now we've had a, a big change. I think going forward is definitely the way to uh, approach it. And I want to be, yeah, one of the top two bandits, definitely. I think it's fair to say as well, Jai, that uh, you're a rider that, that races better when he's busy. Um, would the ambition be to be racing abroad or in the Premiership next season? Yeah, definitely. I, I want to... Um, I've, I've set sights and uh, being back in that Premiership as, as quick as I can this year. Um, I showed, obviously, towards the back end of last year what points I can score in it. Um, so yeah, if I'm busy, I'm not really thinking too much. I'm just going to the tapes and riding and then that, that's it really. So I'd rather be racing every day if I could. So I've, I'm lucky I've got uh, three meetings before even Berwick Press Day this year. So I just want to be on the bike as much as I can. And hopefully add into that silverware collection. Yeah, definitely as well. Yeah. <laughs> 